Mm -mm 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 -m
Oh, oh, sorry. Somebody's in the back room. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Sorry. Oh, no worries, no worries. <clears throat> nah, because I, I said I'd jump on, but then I, just, I got sidetracked, so. I don't know, that's cool. Where, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm in my living room today, so I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. How's everybody else? Everybody else? Oh, we got a bunch of people in the chat. Holy shit. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, people are just watching you bend over and paint. Think about that. Bend over, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glad, I like, kind of forgot. Dude. I'm glad I wasn't like, ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's What's like, oh, I'm hot here. Take my pants off. Shit. All the people watching. <laughs> now, just man, start, no. just start digging to China and shit. Like, <laughs> pants. I've been wearing these pants all day, man. <laughs> yeah, pants. Forget about it. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, see, I'm just, I'm just. Uh, uh, trying to clip out stuff for the show and like trying to, that's all I'm doing I'm just working on tomorrow's show that's it oh word yeah 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 but then like my kid was um, like the change in the weather her sinuses get all messed up so she was already in there sneezing and coughing and I know if I went mm. to go in the in the den to stream then uh, she would be like daddy's talking to his friends and then go wake up my wife so I'm just like I'll just do it from the living room so so yeah, it's like I was checking that out earlier. It's uh, it's come along pretty awesome, man. Thanks. I um, I'm realizing that I I feel like I missed a color. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna ask how does that work because I know like you had, you did it on like that smaller paper, whatever you did. I don't know what you did, but you did, you did obviously did it smaller, right? And then yeah. like, is it gonna be exact when you're done, or is it just gonna be similar and good enough? Um, it's the major points are gonna be pretty exact. Okay, okay. Like the logo, uh, some of this orange stuff. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really just like fucking around a lot with this just blue. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, then I need another darker blue to make the logo pop off. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll go over all of that with the yellow and that orange combo. Okay. So, and so that'll like make that pop off, you know? So we're trying to kind of make some textures with this blue and purple. Make some drops with some darker stuff. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try to do it without the, the fucking Royal. Yeah, you, know, you don't give a shit. Well, I mean, I, I do, but I don't. Like, I mean, I don't know what you're fucking talking about, but I get it. I was like, you're doing some dope ass shit. It's gonna be some dope ass art. I appreciate art. I got it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was like, I was like, not that I don't give a fuck. I just don't understand what you're saying. No, it's okay. And I, it, yeah. and I don't give a fuck to learn what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I appreciate like, you, dude. And I'm just like, I suddenly have a feeling that he doesn't give a fuck because no. I don't think I would. No. Like, I, no. I, I mean, like, as soon as I'm like, yo, I'm starting to feel like I wouldn't give a fuck when I'm stalking, no. you know, I'm like so self-aware. I'm like, even right now, I'm like, man, I wish you would just shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, so let's, uh, let's talk about yellow now. Yeah, <laughs> yellow. Yellow's fucking dope, man. <laughs> I'm ready for some yellow. Yeah, it's pretty dope. But I gotta let this dry. So a lot of this is gonna be waiting and watching paint dry. But I would like to find a darker blue. Did I mention darker blue? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you popped that logo. So I listened a little bit. <laughs> I hate when people are like, yeah, man, I need to make that pop. I need to make that pop. Yeah, what I was like, the fuck are you talking about? I was like, the only thing I know about popping is back in the day, like, you know, old people pop pills and like young people pop boners. And sometimes you need to pop a pill to pop a boner. That's all I ever know. Yeah, you need that blue pill to pop it like it's hot. <laughs> pop it like it's hot. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I wanted to hop on earlier, but like, you, you know, just that timing was just that perfect time window of like the kids going, getting ready for bed, getting calmed down. And then like about the time, like she was gone, that's when you like ended the stream. I was like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. I'm sorry. No, no, no big deal, man. I was just, I was just watching it earlier. It's like I could, like she was watching her movie and I could have it on kind of in the background. I clipped out, I clipped out that part. I was, I was like, uh, fuck was it? We, uh, Rainy was talking about growing a dick because everyone's a frog. That shit had me laughing. I don't remember that. Yeah, because you, you all responded. You and Jason were fucking responding. I clipped that shit out because I just was dying laughing. 
Oh, that's good. Good, good, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. No, it was I'm entertaining. Not... It was fully okay, entertaining. Okay, good. Because I, I didn't know the context. I just happened to walk by the computer and she said something about, uh, Jason's like, you heard it here first. And then Rini's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to grow a dick because it's 2023. And then oh, she's like, everybody yeah. can't because frogs. Everyone's a frog. And I was like, oh, this shit's funny. Yeah, yeah. I was um, dying laughing, dying. Yeah, I'm like sitting here trying to figure out the blue. I don't know if I mentioned the blue. I'm sitting here <laughs> trying to figure out the blue. And there's these fucking teenagers on TikTok like, I feel like a menstrual cramp coming on. And it's like, oh, it's like, dude, dudes. you got a fucking penis, dude. What are you fucking talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that, dude. That's I was, I was saving those. I'm clipping those out for, uh, you know, next month is Women's Month. So I'm saving up all those dudes that are like talking about like their transition and their periods and all that garbage. I'm saving that for fun next month. I was like, happy Women's Month. Yeah, I've seen They're like, they're laughable and like, I don't, I don't even get it. I don't get it. And I don't get how, like, real women are, like, really, like, Dude. you know, thrown down the hammer. Did you see, um, did you see the, um, <clears throat> the woman who was like, yeah, I'm a black lady? And she was, like, head of, like, the double ACP and shit? No. But she no. was actually, like, a white lady? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, With like yeah, a yeah. really like deep tan and like kinky out hair. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. She's on OnlyFans now. <laughs> Shocker. You can you can go and see her. Yeah. Shocker. I didn't go. I didn't look at her. It was like on. It was some article I was reading that <laughs> I saw. I was like, oh my god. And they like showed like a couple of blurry like photos, and it was. It was as depressing as you could imagine it would be. You know, like, I'm going to be a lawyer and I'm going to be, like, paid attention to as a strong black woman. And now it's just like, show my booty. Yeah, I was like, it's very, it's, it's, I mean, I guess the whole thing's funny, but like, they go, they go from, uh, how they go from, they go from like, that women empowerment nonsense into, into like, well, you know. You know, here we go. Let's just, uh, you know, do sex for money. Yeah, dude. It's, 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 not to like judge. I'm not gonna like shame, but it's just like, yeah, yeah woman, women empowerment. Here's my tits. Pay me, yeah, pay me yeah, money yeah. for my titties. It's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, right, I'm not I'm like, like women are going to Mars. We're sick of all the men here. We're going to Mars. We're gonna yeah. develop fucking renewable fuel and get the fuck out of here, guys. You know what I mean? Holy no, fans. it's like. Yeah, no, it's like we're gonna fuck things in front of the camera because we're empowered. Okay. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay. no, that's it. Uh, all right, well, you know, you do you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not here to shame anybody. Like, you no, do no, you, no. Like, yeah, I, I have, I listened to like a whole, like, you know, six years of it of like, you know, <laughs> just like that. Like, we're going to Mars, we're doing this. Like, women do everything. Women are better than All right, men. look, let's be and honest, like, dude. <laughs> it's, let's be honest. Yeah. Let's be honest. Like we're just saying, like, hey, we're not trying to shame them. No, no, no I'm not shaming nobody. Let's be honest. It's fucking shameful. Oh, it is. No, no, it is. Like we're sitting here trying to be like modest in our own fucking disdain and disgust. Oh, all right. So you know, like, like, game as parents, you know what I'm as saying? Parents? Like yeah, as, as no, parents I'm... and as husbands, I'm just like, <laughs> and fathers, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's women's suffrage. Oh, no, you, you, 100%. you fucking shit on a camera like, All right, like yeah, that's where you fucking is going no so I was like yeah I've got I've got nothing against OnlyFans or any of that shit like you do that but yeah yeah it be but just, it's shameful it is shameful it is shameful and I've said it's I've said a hundred gross. million times I've told I've got four daughters and one son I've told my kids I said no matter what you got going on in your life you do something stupid you fuck up whatever I'm gonna be here for you I said you you uh, you need me to hide a body I'm your guy Hundred percent. I'm your dad all the time. I said, but if you ever like do dumb shit, like go, you know, you don't, you never need to go strip for money. You can, you can always have, you always have a home. You always have. I'll take you. And you know, but also yeah. at the same time, like if you're like in the PTA and you find out that like somebody's fucking on OnlyFans, like I'm not, I'm not suggesting you kick them off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, not, yeah. That's not my business. You know what I mean? And that doesn't like. I don't know. Am I yeah. making sense? No, I know. I know what you're saying. I understand. Like these, these, you know, if you're selling your body for sex, then that's fine. You do that, right? You know, you do that. But yeah, you should not be involved in like, 
um, children, uh, children uh, decisions that are involved children. You should not be involved. Oh no, in. no, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. This is what I'm saying. Oh. Like if if you're like because I saw like a single mom mm-hmm. in Florida, which you know, oh, like you're a single mom. Like what kind of fucking issues? Is got? Who knows what's going on? But she's in Florida and she's doing a OnlyFans panel or OnlyFans page. And yeah. the PTA like found out and was like, "Yeah, you can't come back to school." Or, like they they like weren't letting her do shit regarding the kids in the school. I could I can't recall exactly. See, I, I but can, it was I, like I they, they found it. out. The school found out. It was like, "Nah, nah, we don't want you around here anymore." And it's like, well, there's there's something to be like, you know, you know, you're not welcome in my saloon. Like there's there's something about that. Like so. That brings all kinds of crazy other attention. So now all the all the dads, you can't tell me that not a single one of the dads that find out about that didn't look that up already. So now everybody knows what she looks like naked. There's that, and then the, so then the kids are all know. Like it turns into that. That's why I was like, I, yeah. I'm all for it. I mean, because you can't tell me if I was 13 years old, OnlyFans existed when we were 13. That there's no way I would have fucking you would have tried. Everybody would be like, oh man, Miss you know Miss Susie's fucking you know naked. Ha ha ha. Like we all would have done that. You know we would have. So I, I, I can respect that they said, nah, we don't want that around. I can respect okay. it. Yeah, there's a time and a place. That, that's, that's my only thing. I agree. Now, I, yeah, so, now so it's you're, just working so at Home Depot. Her. Mm. You know? so, you know, that's the thing. So the Home Depot is like, oh, we found out you got an OnlyFans account. Bye, Felicia. I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. But like, you know, with the kids, I don't know. Because I just remember how I would have been when I was 13. You know, I would have been like, hello, Felicia. You know, it, it causes it causes way more nonsense than than should. And then like you know, you just think of like those kids that got bullied and stuff. Like imagine that kid, they're like, oh, yeah, everyone everyone sees that kid's mom naked now, and like that's what that kid's got to deal with. I, I think the school did did the right thing on that. But I can I can also understand the other side of it too. Yeah, it's a, it's a pickle. Yeah, I would. I, I... Yeah, don't be a whore. <laughs> I, I, I that's that's really what it starts off with. I mean, yeah. you know, I, that's a, I mean, the, it's a you, know, you, start, you start looking into these other things. You're just like, oh, okay, all right. Well, you know, you said uh, you know whatever life decisions you made to get you here, you don't have a man in your life. Now you have to re- resort to this, uh, and then you want to complain about it. I was like, these are your life choices. I said, you know, maybe she's a great person, maybe she's a nice person. I said, but. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, judge. I'm all over the place, dude. I, I'm yeah. even hearing myself where I'm like, yeah, that's shameful. I wouldn't want my kids to fucking do that shit or my right. wife to do that shit. But then I'm like, hey, if I'm at a PTP, PTP, if I'm at a PTA <laughs> meeting and the fucking chick next to me is like fucking doing porn at home, mm. like, that's not my fucking business. You know what I mean? Like, clearly, like, she's at the PTA meeting. I'm not saying run it, but, I mean, it's like, well, even run it. Like, it's her her abilities to make money, I don't feel like would affect her. No, no, her I, I get it. I get it. I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that affects her parenting and her personal life. It's just, it's just once you bring that shit into the school. But I also homeschool my kid, and I don't believe in, like, the school system's all fucked up anyway. Oh so yeah, like, dude. That's it was like, a goddamn like, zoo off. when I yeah. when I was in fucking public school, dude. It was yeah. So I'm just like I'm gonna screw all that whole thing anyway. But because that's a, that's what we're doing, that's what we're talking about. Those are those are where all the kids are. You can't tell me that that, that if if the PCA found out about it, I can't even imagine know. what's going all on now, dude. Know. I can't even yeah. imagine. I can't oh, even. God, kids God, no. sending no, each other shit like yeah. That I'm can't telling, be good. That cannot be good. And you know, I think some of those uh, programs, like some of those things, those apps are designed to like fuck with kids like that. Like, like oh, why yeah. would you have like apps that like delete shit? You know, right when you uh, right when you send it and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that no, it, that was the whole targeting by. That's why I'm against all this shit. I was against social media for a long time, but like I keep my kid off internet and social media and all that shit. But like, any time that we have gone on YouTube or anything else, to try to like look for any kind of entertainment for her or like especially with the homeschool thing like looking for stuff to like you know to, to, just to figure out a better way because she's she's um she's a difficult kid i really could not imagine sending her to school and how many phone calls i'd get because of how difficult she can be 
Uh, but uh, as we're looking at that stuff, like it'll jump into like a commercial. And now we're clearly 100% looking at kid content and jump into a commercial that I disapprove of. Like it's not even just like, you know, maybe it's an off color commercial where it's like two dudes kissing or something. And I'm like, I don't like that shit, but like it's whatever. You know, it's like there was like some weird shit where I'm just like, no, this is, why is this kid, why is this on kids programming? Like, why yeah. is it, why, yeah, it's like it's, they're pumping garbage in. So it's like, the same thing oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same shit I'm just I'm over all of it so, so I'm yeah the my people like in charge need to be taken out like the, that's taken the out of the yeah. out of their positions like the people and I mean, even not I'm not talking about like the accountants at say Disney but just like mm -hmm. you know the woman who's like I'm gonna cram queer into every crevice I can find in the program yeah, for and, the next uh, two like, years you're just like what the fuck like, well, yeah, that's the and, and, and she's a woman who has like a pansexual and a transsexual child or something. Right. Where it's like, that's not a, that's not normal. It's not normal behavior. I was like, no, I remember no, no, when no, I was a kid, reality. my brother wanted to be a giraffe. Like realistically, my brother kept saying to everybody that he wanted to be a giraffe when he grew up, and he was like five or six at the time. So I was like, if that's what you want to play, like you know, it's just like kids, kids are dumb. You know, they say whatever, and then they obviously can be led. You know, they, they, dude, kids direction. are dumb. Kids yeah. are dumb. That's why we don't let them drive. That's why we don't let them buy houses. That's why we don't let them uh, oh, get into fucking what? contracts, business they contracts. Can't get, they can't get uh, <laughs> tattoos or piercings. They can't get yeah, tattoos dude. or piercings because that's permanent damage, right? Yeah. So you, can get, they, you, yeah. you can't get a tattoo, but you can get your, 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 your hormones completely wrecked for life. But come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, the whole thing's fucked. That's what I'm saying. That's it's what I was like, ah. I think, yeah, and you know what I what think it is? it is? I think it's I think it's just like a progression to the fucking consent. That's exactly you know? what it is. So I was like, I know I think I, I, I think it's Zach that's that's where it's leading, yeah. dude. They're 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 gonna try to fucking no, no, try to fuck our that's kids. Exactly what it is. And, and like if and you try to argue against it, that's where it always comes back to because it, it all because it, the underlying issue is consent. Because yeah. like uh you know the school consent, because like the lowering word, yeah, and lowering, and lowering oh, the consent to the point where you're like, yo man. Well the yeah, word the wordage, the wordage that they used when they were trying to get they were trying to get this in the schools. So they were trying to circumvent the parents and they were trying to get it so like the kid, they were saying it was like a real a real mental thing and if you stopped it, you would cause more harm to the kids. So they're trying to get it so the kids could go to school and go, Hey, I think I want my you know my balls chopped off because I think I'm a woman today. And they were they were supposed they were trying to push legislation that would, that would say the school would set this all up and get them on hormones, and then they wouldn't even tell the parents. And I was just like, that was some nonsense. Fucking insane, dude. Oh, it is. It's crazy. But I was like, so you tell me this same kid can't get a tattoo though because their their body's not developed yet to make and so their brain not developed to make the decision and their body's not fully developed to. To, uh, trying to you know, lower, the they're tattoo. trying to lower the and fucking just, age yeah. of like, yeah, dude, come on, yeah, well, come that was, on. That was the wording in it when it said it said they didn't need their parents' consent to make their own life decision. That was the wording in the legislation. And as soon as I saw that, I said that's all. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing is consent. Because once they do that, then that's precedence of them going, oh yeah, you know, little Timmy can do whatever he wants with his teacher because he consented to it. And it's just like, oh, you fuckers, I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was like, so as soon as I saw all that shit, I said, my kid's never going to school. So homeschool, do the whole they thing. They want to separate the kid. I mean, it's like um, a systematic fucking grooming, dude. Like they want to oh, separate the kid from the parents. Mm -hmm. You know, with like various different programs and like, what's your parents doing with the environment? Like, what kind of stuff? Is, you know, your parents recycling? Like, yeah, separating yeah, yeah, yeah. the kid from the parents. There's also a dad. And then there's too. the fucking, the, the starting. First, it's like, hey, let's separate you from your parent, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's, let's show you some sexual shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Which is like the, the fucking, um, the drag queen shows and stuff. Like, oh, that's, that's sexual as fuck. Like, you can't tell me. Oh, believe me, I know. That that dude's not fucking getting off by, uh, pretending he has a pussy and fucking wearing lingerie right so come on yeah. um so then after after they show the kids some fucking sexual shit then they start going in for the touch oh 100 no and like and when you say that they're like oh no no you're just you, you just got problems the problem is you no bullshit dude yeah it's bullshit. denial all the way it's denial yeah, yeah, yeah. all the way and then when you watch them on fucking to catch a predator they're denying yeah, that shit when they run out the door too. So it's right. like, you fucks.
yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that's that's just the whole thing. I was like, I, I've I've always been, I've always said that, and then uh, but I was like, uh, I'm I'm all for homeschool your kids, bring bring that shit back in home. And I was like, I've never been a huge religious guy just because the way I was raised, but bringing that shit back to God, whatever you believe in, man. I was like, and I got nothing against anybody's religion. Like you got this, you do it, man. Just do it. Like fucking go back to that because I was like, we're. It was a more moral society. Yeah, there's some shit that was fucked up, but like you look back, like when we were growing up, like there was there was definitely some fucked up shit. I had I remember the first time I ever saw a tranny. I was like nine. The, this dude uh, worked at uh, worked at Burger King. Hands were so big you couldn't press the buttons on the register. He had to use a pencil. He had a big Adam Jesus. and a beard to boot. But he like dude was like my name's uh, Shelly or Susie or something. I remember his name, but like it was clearly a dude saying he was a woman. This was back in the like early nineties. You know, late 80s, early 90s. So I remember that. But nobody made fun of that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, you know, you talk about TikTok and bringing that shit in, too. Like, let's talk about the music. The music brought it in. You know, Aerosmith, uh, what was it, Steven Tyler, and uh, so the Rolling Stones, like they, Mick Jagger, they dress like women, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're just like women. They had the whole thing. The song, dude, looks like late. Like you start looking into it, like dude. There's a fucking video, like and the dancing on mm-hmm. the streets. Yeah, dude. yeah, 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 yeah. That is the gayest. Like those guys, those two, and it's like I'm like, okay, well, just come out. Clearly, yeah. uh, Mick Jagger and David Bowie were blowing each other. Oh, so I mean, the jokes have been made forever, but yeah, 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 no, one hundred percent. Yeah, I was like, if you don't see that, maybe maybe you just want to wear drag. Like, uh, but I was like, you know, teach, and again, teach her on there's that whole, you know, I was like, I, I grew up in this idea of like that libertarian mentality of like, yeah, just, yeah, it's cool, man. They do whatever they want over there. I do whatever I want. It's fine. But it's not anymore. It's not like that. Like, they do whatever they want, but then they want to make me do it or like it or watch it or be around it. Like, you know, there used to be a choice. There's no choice anymore. And yeah. if you choose wrong, you're horrible. They're not, they're not trying to like write legislation where they where they can turn your credit cards off, turn your money off if if you have wrong thing. That's actually like in share. all the all the credit cards. Yeah, yeah, like and share for all ages, guys. I mean, well, this isn't for all ages, but Frog G is Frog G is for all ages. Frog G is for all ages. That's right. That's right. But yeah, no, like the credit card thing. Like you look, they all sign the same kind of thing where they're they're in the same kind of uh, pact where. There's a, a wrong think clause, and if they decided that the government or somebody has think big, big, uh, you know, tech Silicon Valley has decided that you think wrong, so they can turn off all your money, your bank accounts, your credit cards, wow. everything. Just turn it off. PayPal, 100%. And the thing is, like, I can come on here and I can, I can say a whole bunch of pejoratives. I can piss a lot of people off. I can say a lot of mean, hateful shit. And there's a line where they'll probably go, all right, see you later. That's inappropriate. You're gone. Right. It depends on how hateful yeah. I can get, but I can get pretty hateful before they actually kick me off. I can say some fucked up shit before they try to kick me off. And, uh, it garners attention and shit, but they won't even, they won't even demonetize you. It's when you start going after like, like hard truths. It was like, Hey, look at this shit. And then you're blaming people are doing whatever. Like that's when they go up, oh, no more money for you. And it's just like a weird, a weird concept. Because, like, you look at Alex Jones, right? Alex Jones got kicked mm-hmm. off all these social media things. He's still getting a paycheck, though. He's still getting paid. Like, yeah. he's, he actually still has, like, a podcast on uh, on Apple, iTunes, Apple. Like, he's still got a podcast going. And he still has, like, I mean, he's he's other places, but he's still getting paid. He's still around. He didn't go nowhere. And he How says do you, some do you weird get money? Shit. Do you get money from uh, Apple Tunes podcast? Not directly from Apple, but if you do a podcast, like, so he was kicked off all these platforms. And I think that was, um, bolstering i don't think it was real i don't think uh because like he would be gone for real there's other people that have been kicked off and they've been demonetized like paypal has taken their money gone because yeah. they were like they were calling out like with a whole bunch of stuff i'm not even gonna get into it because like i don't yeah, believe yeah, yeah, what yeah, they were yeah. talking about but it's just, it was some nonsense right it was, it was, it was some, you know kanye kanye perfect example he's had a whole bunch of shit and they turned off his credit cards they turned off his bank like they said no <laughs> you know and so like there's 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 that so you know he said some shit that people didn't like and they fucking turned him off alex jones they they used him like a like a and i was like i fuck him anyway i think he's a fucking weirdo piece of shit he says some fucked up things sometimes he can be funny i guess like i don't i don't care what anything he has to say he's a bad piece of shit but who alex jones jones yeah 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 (laughs) 
Yeah, you're right. Because I, like, I don't, I don't know. He's like he talks about like spider goats. He's like fear porn. Like everything about his fear. Spider, never, like spider goats. What? Yeah, the fuck? yeah. I, remember, I don't even. You, know, you heard the frog thing. Everyone's heard that frog thing. So I like to use the spider goat thing. So he he said there was like these spider goats, like these like hybrid spider goats, where like the government was like breeding goats with spiders, and so then he like went to this farm. And there's this like video and he didn't go to video but there's this video on the internet where you this guy like goes to this farm he's like oh he's like you're hybrid goats he's like yeah yeah spiders uh the, you know where normally you'd like milk them and milk would come out spider webs we're gonna oh, use fuck. it for it i swear but to god because then you know you know joan says it but then you can look it up you're like oh this guy here said it you're like where, where's the rest of the proof where's the thing and the, but it's and like have, it's like what is he saying is he saying that like goats are are being milked for a certain protein no, no, no. i know that I'll that's like true but it's not like they're yeah, literally no, I'm fucking I'm you what he squirting said. fucking webbing yeah yeah like, no, that's what he's that's what he's trying to imply that, that they're making like they're using the the the, the goats to produce this like some crazy side spider web carny shit dude where it's like, come and inside the tent right. inside the tent there's this crazy fucking yeah. thing going on oh, when you go inside yeah. you're like ah oh, it's a fucking uh, we got a unicorn yeah. and you go yeah, in it's, it's, it's a fucking forehead yeah yeah it's a goat with like the horns infused into one thing you know you're just like what the yeah, fuck yeah. dude and, yeah, and he yeah. like laughs as you leave you know you're like what? right, so right i don't know well, like then, I, yeah yeah so i know that i don't believe i don't believe any of this shit i'm just telling you what he's saying and then the yeah dude, yeah did, I hear you. the dude's like oh yeah we milk him and the spider web comes out and then he didn't show anything that it talked it was just some dude at a farm so it's just like dude i need here. some but, receipts for that one yeah right but Alex says it though, and so now you sound crazy if you repeat that shit. You're like, oh, bro, spider goats. The government's making these half hybrid chimeras that are gonna like, they're gonna take, and they're trying to put like pigs into people and shit. And then you're like, nah, get the fuck out of here. I've seen South Park, man, bear pig. That's what that's all about. You know, you're just you're just saying some nonsense. They're like, no, no, look. And then they pull up that video and they're like, look, here's my proof. This farmer's talking about spider goats. I said, nah, at that point, I don't like this see farmer is goats. talking about like, yo, yeah. once you start talking about some shit like that, like I need yeah, to so, some, I need so, to see some. Yeah. yeah what is well, it extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof like uh -huh, you know right, we yeah. got goats with fucking like yeah 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 it's like tell me the time it's like what malin says show me show me the interiors you know yeah the, yeah the cover looks nice but what about them interiors yeah <laughs> dude i've never heard that dude that's fucking dope yeah dude yeah, absolutely yeah. like you know, show me the materials dude <laughs> this is right yeah so but yeah you know that, that, but that's the thing is like i'm just saying this guy can still exist and still get paid and, and he says some fucked up shit and they did this whole bolstering thing where like all at the same time like the media was making him like a demon a devil guy he was the bad guy he was like so bad and they kicked him off all these platforms almost to like tell you hey you better watch what you say because you could be next you know right. kind of kind of attitude i feel because this motherfucker's still getting paid and somebody traced his like actual like you know they did like a freedom of information act thing and like got some of some of his like personal information and uh and they proved that like he he, he works for time warner so alex jones huh. isn't even like a fucking dude like this truther dude that started out on youtube or some shit he literally is like controlled opposition paid for by time warner like that whole operation and so like he then he gets kicked off all these platforms as some fucking bullshit but he still has a podcast and then he gets like sponsors and he's getting like millions of dollars a year still but like kanye says some fucked up shit i'm not i'm not i'm not here supporting kanye and what he said but he says some fucked up shit they turned off all his money now i'm i'm in a i'm in a position where you know we live in a land of freedom of speech so even if you say some real fucked up shit yeah. You know, you know, you, you know if, especially if like the public square kind of thing. So if you say some fucked up shit, one, you should be able to say that. But if it's so fucked up, somebody's going to punch you in the mouth, they should be able to punch you in the mouth. And I understand that because that's, that's the way I grew up. But, you know, the fact that he, his money's gone and Alex Jones is talking about some crazy bullshit and you're pushing that fear porn and yet he's still not hurting for money. So I just, I just always, I think it's like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And so no matter what they do, there's always a push, always an agenda, always something going on. Nonsense. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I get, I get fired up. Spider goats. Spider goats, bro. <laughs> Spider goats, yeah. I was like, every, everyone's heard about that frog thing. They're turning the frogs gay, which is funny. It's funny. He said that shit. But he, I was like, if you go back and like find some of the funny shit he used to say, like some of it is hilarious because it's so ludicrous. Yeah, but like, there's people that they like gobble it up, and then they they're they're so afraid of everything, 
they, they don't understand. It's just like a just break away, man. Just go go out and get like you yeah, like you always say, touch some grass. Just go on, touch some grass. It'll be okay. Grass, man. There's yeah, some paint okay. around on a canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like if any bullshit like that happens, like we gotta do it to ourselves. Like we gotta ask anybody watching. There There's like seven people watching. watching. There's people in the chat. Are you looking at the chat? Yeah, hey, I'm in the chat. I said hey to people. Copy um, things. Yeah, there's like seven people hanging out, I guess. While you're while listening to you, listen to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you're cool. You do you, man. <clears throat> yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got stuck in like that trooper thing for a little while because I was like, uh, I did see some nonsense, right? And I was like, there's a lot of shit there. There's like a lot of stuff that's like provably false, provably like. Is this a psyop? Is this like the government trying to fuck with people, or is this like crazy people just spouting off crazy shit? And they, you know, somebody trolled on some stuff, and all these like weirdos are like, "Yeah, man!" And so like, there's some like rabbit holes you can go down that are just like nonsense, like complete nonsense. But there's some stuff that's like, you know, you're like you question it, and you're like, "Oh, maybe, maybe." And so like that's where I started like finding some of the some of that Alex Jones shit. And I'm just always just like, man, this stuff is crazy. Oh, yeah, people, people I, I remember. It, I remember seeing him on. Um, it was like an animated movie that he was in, mm-hmm. and I was yeah. like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" And somebody was like, "Yo, he has a podcast." And I was like listening cool. to it, and I was like, at first it was just like, "Oh yeah, like being prepared and shit's gonna happen." And FEMA, you know, it yeah, was yeah. like kind of interesting, you know. And then it just kind of like took a left turn, and it was like, right, oh, right. What the fuck? Well, and then. That's why the that's why that there's also like the why people are trying to prove that he's controlled opposition and prove that he was being paid for by Time Warner because just like Elon Musk and all those other people like you don't know who the fuck they are and then they show the fuck up like nobody knew who Elon Musk was and yes I understand he was involved in the PayPal like thing involved create PayPal he's involved in some like map thing that he sold to government for like a couple million dollars like so he was involved in some things but. He shows the fuck up out of the blue. First time I ever heard of Elon right. Musk was on The Simpsons. Mm. <laughs> Chinese spy balloon is here. Hail Chinese spy balloon. Yeah. I'm glad they yeah. took you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, those, those hit all the time, man. I said, there's tons of videos of those. They're just, uh, that's why I was like, those are the satellites. They just drop them all the time. There's, uh, there's one that like crashed in someone's backyard. It's like a Samsung one. Oh really? Yeah, it's the same shit. So I was like, that's what I was saying. I was like, I know, I know, like you got your whole thing about you know about the stuff, and I got my whole thing. But like, some you know, satellites crash to Earth, and like they're not, they're you know, just when you start asking questions, you're like, it doesn't sound like what they say. But there's a lot of them that are attached to these weather balloons. There's a, there was a Samsung one that attached, and then the official story now is like, it was it was uh, like a test thing, and then it was coming down, and it just happened to crash. I was like, that's not the only one that ever crashed. Mm. Yeah, so I was just like, yeah, Chinese spy balloon, that's a satellite. It just was failing, and that's why we shot it down. That's my that's my thoughts and theory on it. But uh, it's a, I was told it was a Chinese spy balloon, and I will not go against what the government tells me. I mean, I don't know why the government would lie. I mean, they made their the president look like a fucking idiot, you know? So. <laughs> yeah, they always do. <laughs> I don't think that's I mean, done on purpose. If Trump, if Trump was like, "Yo, I want that plane fucking gone," or not plane, I want that balloon fucking gone. It, yeah. I have a feeling it'd be gone. You know what I mean? Not no, like, no, yeah. 100%. I told him to shoot it down, and then fucking well, here's you know, the three thing, days so, later, they shot yeah. it down when it was finally across the country. Like, are you fucking yeah. kidding? Well, there's like, there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of layers to that that whole story. We start breaking down. First of all, this thing's in our airspace, and nobody gave a fuck. Dude, you can't just get in our airspace. Like that's not a normal con. That's not a normal thing. It just doesn't happen. Like lots of people are alerted if some shit's in the airspace. That shit would have been taken down uh, before it was like over the ocean. Like as it that's what I'm saying. Like, they, did no, they, when did they find out about this thing? Uh, like here's here's the thing. Like they, one day it's there. It's like, just one in the day it's not thing. there, and then suddenly it's it. in Montana. Yeah, mm-hmm. you could. Yeah, you could. You could see it, and the thing is, that's the thing you could see it. So it, what? It, what it, most people think is it was a failing weather balloon. They put weather balloons up all the time, and there's tons of actual uh, pictures of like weather balloons attached to satellites, and uh, so that that's the idea that the satellites are really just weather balloons. And there's, a, I'm not the only one that thinks that. There's tons of people that think that, and there's tons of people that have seen that type of stuff. But anyway, so that's uh, most people are trying. Most people that believe that that's a satellite think it was a failing weather balloon so it fell low 
and then people could actually see it. So then they quickly, instead of trying to you know break the illusion of you know satellites are in the sky with a Tesla car, uh, mm -hmm. that um, that it's a Chinese spy thing. So what does that do? It does two things. So we got to beat the war drums to China. Let's go to war with China. We got to go to war with China because they've been doing that for a while now over the. Uh, over the, the the stuff, the eating bats. We got to go to war with China over eating bats, and now they're trying to, trying to do it again. Yeah, you know the the Wuhan thing, the the, the COVID, uh -oh. the COVID. Like people were beating the war drum, like not not specifically, but like there's certain people the way they were wording things, like just being in the military and understanding. Like we would we would watch stuff in the news, and like oh they are they want to go to war, and like there's just people like in the military, like they would get like rock hard when certain things would be said on the military or on the TV because they would go ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh gotta go get those and then they would call people certain names or whatever to, mm -hmm. you know right and they're like you gotta go get them because they're being bad right now and like, i was just like you need to calm down like some, you know this is some news it's some bullshit like they probably didn't do that like calm down just wait and they would get all excited you know so it's just like beating the war drums and so the same thing so they're beating the war drums over the covid nonsense now they're beating war drums over this they're like oh china and their spy balloon how did the fucking balloon get here and we how did they get here nobody. Right, how did they get here? Nobody fucking shot that thing down. And then somebody it memed just it. Shows that. up, dude. Yeah, you know, this, you see that meme of the, the ghost of Kiev? They took a picture of like another down weather balloon at some point, and then they said the ghost of Kiev guy shot it down. He's a true hero. Oh my god. <laughs> it was it was a meme. It was a meme. It was funny. Yeah. yeah, it was funny. But like the thing is you could see it, so it was so close, somebody could have shot at it. That's reality. So it just we think it was a failing weather balloon. And that's why it became a thing. And all of a sudden, we're just like, nah, we'll use it. We're like, oh, it's China spy plane or spy balloon. Like, out of all the other things, too, like, why the fuck is it a balloon? You know, in the technology we have, like, they have some technology. I know what they got. You know, we we, we were we were privy to a lot of the stuff, like, when when they would be around. Um, like, all oh, the technology that they have is shit that they stole from us or somebody else. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they reverse I mean, engineered a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But, we, but the thing is, they have more technology than a fucking balloon. That's what I'm saying. It's no. It different seems just so like low tech and like clever. I don't. I don't know. It's well, like, it could be. It's like I mean, it's like an '80s cartoon. They're like, it just oh, kind of drifts. It's an drifts board. over. You know. Very true. Very true. It's just like, hey, nobody's paying attention to this like very <laughs> slow moving fucking EMP delivery system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's nonsense. It's, but hey, I mean, it might be, you might not be far off. Cause like, I, you know, I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. I mean, I would, I really wish and hope that yeah. it's just a, uh, a, just a fucking weather balloon. Like who gives a fuck? Yeah. I think balloon? it's just a weather balloon. I think it is. Uh, but uh, I think, but that's the thing. I think it was one of our satellites. That's the issue. I don't think there was anything to do with China. That's, that's the reality. I think it was just beating war drums to, to explain away some nonsense. Uh, Nomades here, hey, or Nomsky, Hail Nomsky says, uh, actually uh, saw the balloon. I actually saw the balloon right before they shot it down and passed over the house. Yeah, it was, it was that close. So normally you can't see these weather balloons. But like when you see them, you can see them at the night sometimes when you see the satellites in the sky and they're blinking. Like those are the weather balloons because you can see them at night. But yeah, there's like, there's like tons of videos online of them crashing. So, uh, the Arizona one was funny because like the people were, they were just like an old couple and they were like, uh, they were like, oh yeah, hey, just fall out of the sky. <laughs> like, it was like no big deal. Like, luckily he didn't hit their house. Luckily nobody died. And they were like, oh yeah, hey, he just fell from the sky. <laughs> Jeez. And then like, so then, but then they came up with this like story because then people started going, well, if it, if it was a satellite that was like way up in the air, like where they're supposed to be, you know, upon re-entry, this thing would be all burnt up. This thing looks like it was just like, you know, you know, like, you know, it just fell down and it's a little dented, a little banged up. It's not, there's no, there's no burn marks. There's no, there's no uh, burn up. There's no, where, what is all this? And then they had to come up with this whole thing and they're like, oh, well, Samsung was doing this test and they had mm -hmm. attached to a weather balloon and they're like, oh, and they're like, oh, well, we were told for years that their satellites aren't on weather balloons. They're like, well, they were testing it. They were, te they weren't officially launching this. They were, and then it was, it was on its way back and like the balloon failed and that's why it fell. And you're just like, I, I smell a little fudge here. Mm. What's up, whack ass? Hey, brother. Let's see. Whack ass the champ. What's going on, whack ass? Let's see. He's saying hello to everybody. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's just a thing. I'm just like, uh, you know, and, and some people tell me I'm wrong. They tell me I'm a little nuts, and I'll, I'll allow it. It's fine. You know. I'll allow it. Yeah, you think you think what you think. I think what I I'm think. I'm a black lawyer. I allow it. <laughs> I'm a black judge. I allow it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but I was like, yeah, I spent, I spent before I found Comics Gate and like, you know, I found Ethan streams and all that stuff. I really. I went down these like fucking rabbit holes, man. Because I, I I worked third shift. I worked over uh-huh. overnight, and I was like stocking shelves. I, I mean, I had this one job. I was like uh, driving a forklift, like moving soil and like shit in the you know for the springtime for all the flowers. I worked at Home Depot, so I was like I was all by myself. I just me and a forklift and just moving shit all day long on pallets and like loading stuff up. And I was just like fuck this. Put my headphones in. I just started like trying to find some shit. I got questions about stuff, so I just like start Googling it. And there's some weird ass stuff on the internet. And then through that, I found Ethan, strangely enough. And it was just my frustration about Star Wars. Uh, uh, so it, as soon as I found Comics Gate and this whole community and everything, I just left all that truth or shit behind. But I was like, there was a lot of it that was just clear bullshit, though. Clear bullshit. What is it? Mm-hmm. Truth there. Yeah, because like there was, it was no different than the Alex Jones thing. It's like people would be like, "Oh man, you know, you know what they're doing now, and they're doing this, and they're doing this, and it's just fear porn." What's your yeah, solution? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, I'd gladly talk about conspiracies any day of the week. And uh, um, but I was like, I, I like to know about it and like stuff that I believe that I, stuff that I believe that might be true. You know, in this conspiracy, I like to have that conversation because my thought process is I'm not going to be tricked in the future. When there's like some weird nonsense coming back it's like oh I, I watch a lot of old stuff old tv shows you know and uh stuff like that and you can you can start to see where the stuff changed where back then if you were you were stuck in the middle of that like it was a joke you know everybody laughed it was a joke it was so far from the future and then you're like oh wait a minute they were joking about uh you know this in the 70s but everyone's crying now how did we get here <laughs> they're making the joke so they're they're dropping it in back then it was just like everybody thought it was a joke. Everybody, you know, called it a conspiracy. It was just like, oh shit! I was like, I remember there was a, fuck was it? I think it was an All in the Family episode. They were talking about like the Trilateral Commission and like everything, like how they were trying to take over. Yeah, they were they're joking about the Trilateral Lateral Commission and the United Nations and David Rockefeller, um, like back in the seventies, and they, they made the guy seem crazy as fuck, and like everybody laughed about it and shit. And then you look later, and you're like. Oh, there's some, there's some, uh, some, some stuff there, some stuff there. But you know, everybody was in the middle of it, so you was like, that's why it's like everything that's going on with the drag queen story on all stuff. TV's gone. We're turning it off. We're not. We're cutting the cord. We don't need cable. We don't need streaming. We don't need any of it. It's like, uh, you know, we're joking about it now. What's going to happen tomorrow? It's like I don't, I don't need that in my life. I'm over it. Over it. Yep. And then I got called a crazy conspiracy theorist for that. But I was like, now, I was like six years later, I'm the gladdest, uh, happiest thing I ever did was take my kid and never put my kid in school. Fucking okay. A. Yep. Are you, yeah. uh, are you are you guys thinking about that? Or are, you, are you doing the traditional school route? No, I think uh, we're going to be doing some homeschooling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's uh, the plan, Stan. No, that's cool, man. Yeah, if you can, if you can do it, I, I tell everybody if they can do it, do it. Obviously, I get that you can't, because like my, my wife, when we first started talking about this, like she she always had that rebuttal of like, oh, we can't, we you know, we can't do that today. Blah blah. blah. You know, society isn't built like that today. Like you got to do this. They said, no. The reality is, like, we have two cars, we have two car payments, we have crazy cell phone bill. I was like, I remember when I was in high school, my dad's phone bill was fifteen dollars a month for the house phone. I was like, and uh, you know, they had one car. And it's like there's so many things that you know that you you need now. Like you need you need to get a new phone every time a new phone comes out. It's a thousand dollars. Then oh, your wife needs one. Your, your kids need one. You know that starts adding up quick. You know the new game system comes out. You got to have that. Oh, 4K TV. You got to have that. Everyone's got to have two cars. Oh, I, my car's three years old. I got to have a new car. My grandparents, uh, not not my, my stepdad's grandparents or my stepdad's parents had a car, new car every three years they leased it but my mom's mom she had she had like the same car she had for, from like the 70s she just drove that shit till it died i remember my neighbor she was in her 90s she had uh-huh. like a 30 year old car sitting in her driveway and it had like it had like maybe twenty thousand miles on it because she, she used to go to the grocery store close to 40 years so like 
we do it to ourselves by getting into crazy debt and buying stuff and needing everything and just consuming all this nonsense. And it's funny that my name is Aiden's Big Consumer because I, I do like to buy stuff, but like we got out of that. We got, we paid off our car payments and we haven't got, my wife wants to get a new car now. So we're, we're looking at doing that soon, but like we haven't had a car payment in fuck, three, three, four years we haven't had a car payment and we, we, we did have two. So we're looking at it's like seven hundred dollars a month that we just weren't spending on cars for years. Yeah, you know, and it's just like that mentality. It's like once you once you start looking at that, getting rid of your changing your lifestyle a little bit, easily one parent can stay home, homeschool the kid, no issues. I mean, because everybody's got a different thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think I'm gonna sell my car. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I don't I don't fucking go anywhere. Yeah, see, that, I mean, you know, yeah. it's like I might as well just fucking sell it and, and you make uh, car payments on it, or you you own it outright. I just own it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sell it. It's money in the bank, man. You don't need it. I yet. mean, I want to like sell it and then use the uh, use the money to like fund a book. Yeah. There you go. Or like kickstart a book. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I get it. I get it. Even yeah, if you good. even if you have a uh, Indiegogo campaign, mm -hmm. dude, you still need like a G. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Just to like, just to start. So this the stuff that I want to do, like, I need to, to hire somebody that costs uh, some money. Yeah. I need to hire somebody and that costs some money. I'm, I'm tired and I'm high, dude. That's so, <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. It's, it's but you great. understand I what I'm it. saying? I understood. Yeah. You it's listen like to I me about get, my uh, own shit. I, I can listen to you about your shit. So. Yeah, I, got, <laughs> I want like Jimmy Ray. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Ray's the inker. Like I'm gonna get him oh, to, yeah, some, yeah, to yeah. ink some stuff for me, just so I, so my stuff has like a different look. You know, I think mm -hmm. it'd be kind of fun to get him to ink my shit. Um, yeah, it'd be pretty dope. But yeah, it costs money. So like to do a campaign, or at least a decent campaign, I'd like to get the cover, uh, ten pages completely finished. You know, with lettering so that people can kind of see. Yeah. Right. I mean. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Show me the interiors, right? A hundred percent. Yeah, I was like, you know, the cover looks nice, but what about them interiors? Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. So, um, I'm totally, you know, it costs money, so I'm gonna sell my car and cover that, and yeah. then put the rest in the bank. Ah, that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. If you don't need it, and like that's another thing too. Like we think we need all this stuff. And I was like, um, you know, just like that. Like, you know, you said you said yourself you don't drive your car. Like, if I had that concept, you know, I had that conversation with my wife today, she'd be into it. But like five, six years ago, she, she would have fought me too. Man. You know, he was like, I'd have been like, what the concept. fuck are you talking about? Sell my car? But like, are you fucking yeah. crazy? But yeah, right, now I'm just like, I don't want to fuck. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, like going to Tampa for the con. I'm like, man, I'll just rent a car for that shit, you know? Yeah. Because like, you think like the, the insurance you're saving by not having that car, you think about the uh, any maintenance you got to put into it, you know, it starts to add up over the course of a year, you know, the one time, yeah. like how many cons you go to? Not you know, that right? many. Not that many. And then like, you think about this, so that car's already paid off, but like if you will rent a car right? and then it's just, you're, you're doing cons for, for business, that's a tax write-off, I'm thinking. I don't know how much you can, maybe the whole thing. I'm assuming it's a tax write-off. Right, because you're, you know, yeah, you're, yeah. you're technically self-employed, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, I'm assuming that's how it works. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a tax guy, but yeah, that's right. No, man, I don't do numbers and shit. Yeah, it's not what for me. Yeah. About. yeah, I, I do talking. I don't do, uh, I don't do uh, anything. Else. I could draw. I could draw a stack of money. I could draw an account. <laughs> I can. I can draw. I can draw numbers. But I the could draw like can, an account and shit. <laughs> I can draw a calculator. Yeah. yeah, dude. I get it. Now I can imagine that account. I can imagine that account. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like now, now I just all I'm thinking of is like that. Uh, remember that damn uh, shit? Was that was that? Uh, oh fuck! So, uh, Schoolhouse Rock. Schoolhouse Rock. I guess you were saying you could draw accountant. Like that's what I was thinking. I was thinking like the accountant in that kind of art style with like a stack of money trying to explain yeah. some shit. And I'm like, I'm not I'm listening, but it's a good song. How many, how many people get stoned to watch Schoolhouse Rock, I wonder? Like today. I think more like people should. 
<laughs> Not back in the day. I honestly, I think more people should. I think they yeah. should make Schoolhouse Rock part of shit so that people understand, like, you yeah. know, Conjunction Junction and fucking yeah, what a bill is. Yeah, what a bill is. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes it. I mean, it totally makes sense. Um, yeah, it's like uh, you talked about your book a couple times. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, the rock and roll or the other one? The other one. You know, obviously, I'm looking forward to rock and roll, but uh, no, the other one. That's the one. I mean, that's the one you're gonna sell the car for, right? Uh, no? I'm gonna do a smaller book that I already okay. got penciled. Okay. That's not mandibles. Oh, I don't have a name for it yet. About? Okay. I don't have a name for it yet, really. Right, I mean, I've, book, I've talked about it. It's like a, it's a book that I did, and I legally I got the artwork back from the guy, and so I'm oh, like redrawing okay. it. So I'm just okay. gonna like release that, and um, I'm not expecting it to be like a like a fiendish, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I don't expect it to like if it if it makes five grand, yeah, yeah that yeah. would be dope. You know what I mean? Like it's really I, I'd like to get a campaign under my belt that is you know i just like to that's smaller that way when yeah. i do manables i don't fuck it up yeah no i get i get what you're saying i mean there's because I, I mean i get that you know you're in this realm right but then like um you know shipping fulfillment all this stuff like that's a whole bunch of new stuff that you're gonna be able to do and there's, there's probably got to be a learning curve so, yeah I, I don't want. I don't want to use that learning curve on mandibles. I'd rather use right. it on, on on a smaller on a smaller project. Yeah, and then well, a the smaller project with a smaller goal, you're gonna be able to fill it in a, in a quicker amount of time. Like there's just so much better with that kind of mentality. And then the other thing is like just say mandibles. Like I'm assuming it's gonna look cool as fuck. It's gonna be like a dope ass dude. Thing. You got amazing art. And the thing is, you have so much goodwill built up here. I, I can't imagine that something like that wouldn't blow up. Uh, so like imagine like if you did hit like rainy numbers and then you're like fuck I gotta fulfill this now like that turns into like a whole fucking thing where like now you might be like spending money just to fucking hurry up and get this shit out and then you're like oh man I could have done this so much better you know so yeah 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 doing a, doing a smaller is probably the best I think yeah and it's like pretty much done on my end I'm gonna go in and like revise the character I'm gonna go you know but like the page is already done like it's like yeah. me going in and like erasing this like erasing the superman logo off of people's chests and like redrawing it into something else and like erasing the cape you know it's it's shit like that you know but i also think i'm gonna like make the the lead guy he's who is black i think i'm just gonna make him white so i'm gonna go go through and like redraw the guy as a white guy oh is this that thing for the the un or no yes okay okay yeah, I, I, was, I was apprehensive about saying it because I was like, I don't know if that was the thing you were talking no, about. No, you can. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. they um, yeah, I remember you the talking guy about that I, I was doing shit with it. He he really tried to like fuck me over, and oh. uh, and I I lawyered I lawyered up. So gotcha. the original artwork is all mine, right? Mm-hmm. So the story is mostly mine because I wrote it. Yeah, but he he like came up with like the names and shit. And like the okay. main guy, like, okay, I want this main guy to be, his name is whatever. And it, I want him to look like me. Right. So I'm like, okay. Everything else I fucking, that he was asking me, I fucking threw out because it was all dog shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to go in and like redraw it maybe as like a Hispanic guy or fucking. Yeah. Give him like a big Mexican mustache. You, you win. Yeah, dude. Or give him like a blonde mullet. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a fucking. Well, remember that guy, the Don't Boz? Don't change the skin tone. Just get remember the guy mullet. in the yeah in the '90s, the Boz, the guy yeah, who like yeah, played yeah. Uh, college football. Like, I'm gonna give him like a fucking all right a, a Boz haircut. <laughs> there you, know? you go. And he, he's married to a black woman. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna Sounds be fun. Dope. I don't even. It's like it's an environmental book, and I don't even want to like do a second one. And I don't think it'll happen because it's an environmental book. Like nobody buys environmental books. But yeah, but if you make it like a like a cooler Captain Planet, you know, I mean, like if you're not not like you're not like preaching save the planet, you know, don't pollute nonsense. Well, the idea make it fun. this is the, make it all right, fun, like so. This was the idea, right? Is that this guy yeah. thinks that he's 
given the Captain Planet powers by like some sort of like Gaia persona. Yeah. But it's really a fucking like alien. Okay. Who's like giving him shit? He like she was like giving him powers, but it's just like you know, parasitic on the planet. Okay. So I wanted to like maybe I wanted to like flip it. Like the original thing was, oh, this is Gaia, and she's giving him powers so he could help the planet. But with this re with this reissuing this rewrite, like that's all fucking fake. Yeah. Like everything that she's like telling him and is like boosting him, it's all it's all fucking made up bullshit. Gotcha. Okay. And yeah. She, and she knows it. So there's yeah, like. Yeah. And right. and the main bad guy of the book is uh like the main bad guy of the book is like the previous guardian who got fucking mm-hmm. smashed and left and like left for for dead. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. But I was just like, yeah, if, it, if you got to mess with this, you got to make it cool. I'm like thinking, like, you know, give me a Captain Planet story, but uh-huh. like the, the but the main dude you're talking about right here, he's like the villain. He, he wants to destroy the planet. So give me like Superman four, but make it cool as fuck. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm at. See, I did think about making him go dark like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Like, because it, it's like. Like what if imagine the imagine this crops, guy right? like this guy well yeah and also it's like i'm 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 you know I, i'm this this uh guardian this this guardian this green guardian or this guy you know earth guardian i keep fucking cleaning up after these people yeah what's the problem well this the, the equation is that these people keep fucking up and like destroying shit so if i remove the people then the planet will stay nice and clean. So maybe you know. So the guy like just like yeah, he just like goes evil, and is like you know yeah. the problem is you yeah, fucking make it, humans yeah, make are the go problem. Evil be great. Yeah, that's funny. Well, I mean, I I, I would be him because like I I remember watching Get the Planet as a kid, and I always fucking hated it, but I watched it because if you didn't watch TV, you had to do chores, so we watched TV whatever we could. And uh, kept playing it. I remember, I remember hating it though. I thought it was the dumbest shit in the world. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not one to go throw my trash on the ground and all that. But I'm like, I'm not, you know, the Indian no, crying no. over Pluto. I'm not, I'm not there. I'm like that Indian, let him do his thing. But I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'll pick up my trash. That's fine. But don't preach that shit at me. So I hated the show. So anything that's like the opposite of that show, the I'm, power I'm, is yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in. If you take that show away, it's like whatever. It's such a fucking propaganda. Oh picture. yeah, Admiral Wackus says look up the train decapitation episode. Yeah, I forgot he told me about that before. I do hate what on Captain Planet. Planet? Yeah, he, yeah, it's not the first time I've heard this. I think Wackus told me it before. Yeah, dude. So you know who helped uh, finance the the UN job was uh, oh. Ted Ted Turner's grandson. Yeah, shocker. I mean, I didn't know I that. fucking... Like, dude, those people are always involved in Dude, shit. it's the craziest shit. It was the craziest shit, dude. It was, it was seriously insane. I go to Atlanta to have lunch at the fucking Turner Buffalo Steakhouse mm-hmm. on in the Turner building on fucking Turner Avenue. Yeah. With Turner's grandson. It was fucking bizarre. It was like... Yeah, you're like, he walks Am I in. Sleeping right now? Yeah, I mean, he seemed like I mean, he seemed like a nice guy, you know, and like he wasn't like, hey, we're gonna do this, but really, we're gonna fuck him over. I mean, he genuinely seemed like legit about everything that he wanted to do, yeah, and, and about the comic book. I don't, it, I don't even. It wasn't him that fucked the whole thing up. It was the uh, the football player, fucking greedy dumbass. Yeah, yeah, I heard part of it. I remember it was like, I don't know if you were drunk or high or something. You're telling a story about that guy. And I was like, I was following it, but I wasn't like exactly sure what went down. But I, yeah, there was some fuckery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough to yeah. get lawyers involved. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough to be, you know, everything that I drew is now mine. So. I mean, at one point, I was really pissed off about the whole situation, and I was like, "Man, I'm gonna make this this character fucking gay," and fucking, <laughs> you know, his wife <laughs> like, that that I'm drawing isn't his wife; it's really his sister. 
And then and it was like, well, where's her? Where's her husband? I'm like, he was shot by fucking cops in a fucking in a fucking parking, you know, in a traffic stop, you know. And it was, yeah, I was just so fucking yeah, I was just so bit out of shape about it, you know. It was like, and then and and after about you know half an hour, I kind of pulled back off of that. I was like, all right. Let's, I worked hard. Let's let's make this a, a legit book. If we're really gonna like rehash this shit, let's make sure we uh, we do it good. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I was like, all right, well, I guess I can't find what you're telling me to look up, but I'm, I found a whole bunch of horrible, like real train decapitations. Thanks for bringing my night there. Let's see. Uh, Dude, that fucking uh, um, como se dice that walking duck shit sounds horrible. It's like all breaking up and shit. <laughs> uh, Wack ass says, uh, unfortunately, when uh, uh, Matt pitched those edits, uh, <laughs> they said they loved it that he's gay now. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, Wack ass was just making a joke. I forgot what we were talking about. Uh, you were talking about the um, you were you were mad at the dude, so you're gonna make his character gay and all that shit. So then Wackass oh, said yeah. that when you pitched it to the studio, they're like, "Yeah, we fucking love that he's gay now." <laughs> yeah, they're like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" Like, yeah. dude, that's Can what I. Okay, gay? that was the joke. I was like, this thing. I was like, this fucking book. I was like, let's make it as fucking SJW as possible. Let's check off every single fucking box. Like, yeah, it's. A black superhero. Uh, it's environmental. Uh, the sister's a lesbian. Uh, she's also a single mom. Uh, yeah. One of the brothers was killed by cops. Uh, it was, you know what I mean. I just wanted to start fucking filling in the blanks, checking off as many boxes as I could, and then being like, "Hey, there's never going to be a number two because fucking SJWs don't buy comics." So this is right. But, you know, kind of softened up. Yeah, it's still funny, though. It's still funny. Yeah, but it's cool that, it's cool that you got um, you got the characters and shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's cool, it's cool that you got that. I mean, I don't know. We're done with the whole thing with the lawyer thing, what it costs and all that. And I was like, oh, we got paid. So like, it may be beneficial. It may not be beneficial. But it sounds cool. It sounds like you, you made out. I think I will in the long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like after well, lawyers that. and stuff, it kind of like evened out like what I got gotcha. for the gig and and what I got for the lawyers. Mm-hmm. Like two years of my life, fucking went, we, like just like went up. So anything I make from this point forward is all fucking is all gravy. Yeah, no, that's good because like yeah, if it didn't cost you anything, but then you gotta look at it like it. It's also like a, a the the you know it, it's just it's about the principle of the thing. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. Fuck this dude, right? Because fuck if you let guy. him do it, then what's going to happen next time? And, and I feel like that would be a waste of fucking uh, of that two years. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, man, I fucking spent two years working on this fucking book for the UN, and now it's like not going to get fucking printed anymore because of this fucking clown guy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it sounds like a bunch of nonsense. Anyways, like, anyways. Yeah, yeah I, just, I can't imagine, like, I mean, like, being in your position, I'd be like, yeah, 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 I'll do the thing. And, you know, you know I would be like, yeah, I, I draw you a picture, you give me some money, I get it. And then I'm just like, you want me to draw what? <laughs> For the UN? <laughs> I don't know how, to, I mean, it would have depend on the paycheck, too, but I'd be like, I, I have a feeling they would just be like, ah, this doesn't sound like it's for me. Sounds like some Captain Planet bullshit that I want to do. Well, that's, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, they want me to do a comic book? I was like, that sounds mm-hmm. cool. And then as I was like in the meeting with them and listening to it, I was like, oh, this is starting to sound like fucking dog shit. Yeah. Like, this is starting to sound like the fucking goofiest shit I've ever heard. But uh, also, the money was fucking there, dude. So it's like, so I was like, all right, well, the money's there, you know? And I'm like, well, can I write this? Right as they're talking, I was like, "Well, who's writing this?" And they're like, "Well, we don't know yet." And I was like, "Well, can I write it?" Mm-hmm. Which I had never written anything before, but I was like, "Can I write it?" Um, that way, I would have control, you know. 
over over what I was actually doing. And control over what was going to be done because they were like really trying to push some Green Lantern shit, dude. And uh, and I really pushed, I really uh, pushed away for it, or pushed away from it. You know what I mean? Like a rip off, like they're trying to rip off Green Lantern. Dude, they were like, yeah, let's have some like he's he's throwing uh, like green footballs, green energy footballs, or mm-hmm. you know he's creating green constructs out of green energy and i was like what the oh wow fuck did you just fucking say yeah you know so what, I mean? what I happens like, is so they watch green lantern and then he's like bro i got this idea for this comic book start yes, with me. dude i was like fuck man because it's all about green energy green energy and he's using green energy and i'm going you <laughs> fucking retard <laughs> You yeah, I'm like, Jesus book? Christ. I'm like, have you ever read a fucking comic book? And I was like, so like Green Lantern. And he was like, yeah, kind of. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay. I was like, I was like, yo. And I was like, all right, I'll take your goddamn money. But I need to <laughs> draw this stuff. And I need to re- re- redesign the character. So I basically like threw away most of this shit. And like, I, I drew it uh, and wrote it. And um, I'll tell you, I'll, there's only one panel where he actually throws uh, green footballs. I could not fucking talk him out of it. Gotcha. <laughs> I couldn't talk him out of it. But for the most part, hey, uh, J-Bot's the in most, the back. Say what? J-Bot's in the back. What's going on, J-Bot? Yo, yo. I mean, for the... But for the most part, it was like uh, like Terra mm-hmm. from fucking Teen Titans. Do you know what I'm talking about? It was more of like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was more like he was an elemental character. Like, oh, I can control uh, the rain. I can control some the, some snow. Uh, I can form giant hands out of dirt. Um, I can launch myself into the air with like a pillar of dirt that I form really quick, like a launching. You know what I mean? It's, so it's like I, I was trying to make him like a like yeah. he can control like fauna and flora and, and and the ground. You know what I mean? I was like trying to do as much as I could to avoid yeah uh, the Green Lantern fucking reference that they were trying to push. So I'm going to have to, like, go in there and, like, redraw some shit. You know, like, get rid of those fucking footballs. Get <laughs> Keep rid them of the, in. Get, <laughs> fuck that. Because I'm going to get rid of the football references. I'm going to, like, make them a, a rugby player or something. I don't know. Some kind of future sport. We have the uh, one of the villains he fights. Make him lame and give him the fucking football. Um, kick his ass. Good, good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, j I don't know if your uh, mic is off or it's it's mic, because I'm listening on headphones right now, but it's like, Matt sounds crystal clear and you don't. You could be good. I'm just saying, I, Matt sounds clear, you don't. What time is it? It's like uh, 1230. My time. I don't know if we're on the same J-Bot, time. J-Bot, dude. Guess what? I just wanted time. to bring you on to say goodbye. Yeah, time to call it, guys. <laughs> Why didn't you come in earlier, J Bot? Because I gotta let this I stuff dry. I can't. I can't fuck with this yeah. shit. I can't fuck with this painting anymore until tomorrow. That's cool. That's cool, man. So everybody can go and watch somebody else. That's cooler. I gotta start uh, cleaning up. Well, I, I'll man. start cleaning up, and you guys could still. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if J Bot can even hear us now. Since I'm like, I can ask John. It's all right. It's cool. We're all hanging out. It's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah I said, no. I, I know you were saying. Yeah, no. I say, I say it all the time. I'm yeah, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, is this yeah, better? No. Yeah, Holy better shit! Like the fucking voice. Yeah, of God. It's like, yeah. Jesus. Oh, is that too loud? Yeah, oh like, my right? God! Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. We hear your voice. Give us the yeah. commandments. <laughs> no, I was saying. Uh, I thought you were saying that you were t- trying to do like a like a regular stream, like you know, because like you you stream whenever you can usually, right? Yeah. And I thought you were trying to say you were trying to like lock down like a weekly stream or do some shit. Like I don't know when uh, when we trying to do that. I don't know. 
Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to navigate what other people are doing mm-hmm. so that I, I don't like start calling out shit, you know, that um Hey, I, I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Yeah. I, I want to do a show, I guess as as soon as I'm done with Rock and Roll Ninja, I'm gonna look at the, the, the landscape and then start mm-hmm. making and just start planting my flag at different different spots and then I gotcha. and then and then hold it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I was just curious because like I was like, um, I'm gonna be like fucking Tom Cruise and far away. I'm just fucking <laughs> riding on a horse with a fucking flag. Yeah, like just slamming it down. Uh, I climb Thursdays at seven o'clock. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a, yeah. If you do, if you do more, not even you don't have to do this late, but if you do like a more of a nighttime show, like uh, I know I could be like if, even if I'm not on the show, right? If I if you don't even want me on the show, I, I could definitely be in the chat better because like some of the morning streams, the daytime streams, it's harder for me to, to get to those. Yeah, yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, no, I still appreciate them. I still like them. I try to watch them on the back end if I if I miss it other, any other time. But yeah, if you're, if you're trying to do like a weekly show, like. You know, I'm in. I'm in if you do a later one. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm even into watching in the chat. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to say that I'm invited. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I like the later. I want to tell you, man. I'm really. Uh, I could be a host. I could be a co-host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, if you uh, if you didn't if you didn't pick up where I was laying down, bro. <laughs> Would you say but, you talk uh, about that whole fucking moon thing? Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll talk about any time, man. That'll be the name of the show. What about that moon thing? What's up with the moon? Yeah. <laughs> the moon yeah. is this amazing structure that is right out there. It took us three days to get there. It took us lots of calculations, near misses. Yeah. But we made it there. We did. Several times. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. And then never been back since. We well, the last we... time we tried to go up there, we almost fucking lost everybody. So, well, we uh, we threw away the technology, though. We just destroyed it. We can't build it back. That's what Don Pettit said. He's an astronaut. Who the fuck is Don Pettit? He's an astronaut. And he's, yeah, he's an astronaut. He says that we threw away the technology. He would he would go to he would go to the moon in a nanosecond. We threw away the technology, and it's just too too painful to bring it back. No, you just like that's get the dumbest TikTokers. thing I've ever heard. Right, that's what I'm saying. Want to go start, to the moon? Once you start listening to these astronauts, it's like it sounds fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you get some t- TikTokers to volunteer and train them and send their asses to the moon. That's what I'm saying. Make it if they don't, they don't. I mean, yeah, I mean, didn't the Chinese just send a rover there? Yeah, that's what they say, but I was like, uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of money in, uh, in uh, not telling the truth. They also supposedly dropped a balloon in America the other day. Oh, my yeah, God. I was like, I don't know what the Chinese are doing. Oh, my Sent God. Sent the dog neighbor over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my I God. No idea. No clue. Yeah, dude, I'm going to need it. I'm going to have to go back and get another blue. Yep, you gotta get that darker blue so you can make that thing pop. I remember. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. I am getting fucking paint everywhere. Yeah, we gotta let this baby dry. Gotta get some, some more light on it. Good times. Good times. Yeah, so uh, that thing that thing you're working on, that's for something. Um, uh, are we going to see that somewhere, or is it just like some business hired you to do something? Chances are you won't see it, but it'll be on, on TV and shit. Oh, yeah, because I don't have TV. Thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you don't give a fuck about women's pro sports. <laughs> no, what is that? Pro mud but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like mud wrestling. I, I mean, mean, they're all like real. They're all like real women. Yeah, well, that's good. That that I'm that I'm a fan of. So I, I support whatever you're doing. I mean, I support whatever you're doing anyway. But I was like, uh, yeah, that I'm I'm a fan. Okay. Probably not gonna watch it, but I'm a fan. 
You do you, yeah, real women. It's, it's not for me. You know, I yeah. don't think it's for me. Yeah. I don't watch regular okay. sports. So I was like, I don't watch regular sports. I'm not going to watch uh, female sports. I mean, if my daughter was, my daughters were, were performing or something, I'd watch. Yeah, that that's true, too. I was like, uh, yeah. I've definitely gone to the beach and seen, like, the pro volleyball people dancing, or not dancing, but in their bikinis playing volleyball. I, I've stayed and oh, watched. Lord. I've stayed and watched. So I was like, but in re- reality, I was like, I'm not going to turn on the little TV. Much. Yeah, it's not for little me. Much. A little much. A little much. A little much. Yeah. Working out a little much. Yeah. What are you working out, J-Bop? J-Bop, a little much. All right. Cool. Good conversation, J-Bop. J-Bot's choking a hobo right now. Apparently. I'm like, I'm like what are you working at? He's like, <laughs> He's like, a garrot. Yeah. Good talk, man. Good talk. I'm working this fucking chainsaw on this fucking hobo's neck. Shit. You know, that's that's something that I haven't seen. You know, like, I, you know, I'm not like super into like horror comics and stuff. And like, you know, and like, you know, nah. superhero comics, I can, I can give them or take them, you know, like, we're fine. Take them or leave them or whatever the saying is. You know, it's fine. There's some shit I would agree. You know what? Like, when you said that, garrot and chainsaw, like, I was like, give me, like, a badass, like, not, don't rip off Scarface. But give me, like, a 70s vibe, like, that kind of style, like, gore and violence and drugs and fucking whatever. Give me a comic book like that. But like but that. clearly don't rip give off Scarface. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, no. Yeah, but I was like, but yeah, that's something. I was like, has anybody even done that? And in, in, uh, in where we are, I was like, I know it's probably been done before, but like, I don't think anybody's done like some like mafia fucking comic book or you know, like, um, drug thing, like just some wild, crazy shit, like chainsaw dudes in the bathtub, just cause. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm just saying, like. I was like, I like Scarface, and like, you know, can we can we get comic book in that vein, in that genre, in that that vibe? You know, you can Disney it up if you want. You don't have to chainsaw dudes in the bathroom. You can do it in a meadow. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it was a good idea or not. I just, I was just, I, I, I'd read it. It's a great idea. Yeah, now I think I'm gonna watch Scarface. Oh shit, J Bot's in the back now. I'm like turning around to turn this thing off. All right. Sorry, in the back. <laughs> Sorry, I, I changed my headset, but. Hello, goodbye. Hello, yeah, goodbye. Well, yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I got pain in my eye. Oh, I'm no. not complaining. I'm just making an observation. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks for uh, coming by, everybody. All nine people. Appreciate it. Yeah. Admiral Whackass. Everybody else? Who else? Ray, Mortal, J Bot, Bitty Bitty Bop. Anybody else? Gnome Ski. All right. Hail, everybody. Peace. Yeah, hail. Hail. <laughs>